welcome back to the next series and we were talking about the previous one the constitution of ghana we were talking about the drawbacks of the constitution and we spoke about article 78 clause 1 which mandates the president you know to appoint majority of his ministers from parliament and my brother here was talking about constitutionalism which obviously has checks and balances yes. so can you continue on that point that you were making great yeah okay so um mr Rico, as you were saying the 1992 constitution is the one it has been the stumbling block even though as you we said there is probably nothing in the constitution about nepotism mm -hmm. but you get a nepotism because you have a constitution mm -hmm. which doesn't have the checks and balances, and balances. now what do we then do we look into the history so what is the history of that constitution? Okay. So you have a situation where Rollins was in power mm -hmm. from 1979 mm -hmm. and obviously by say 1992 we needed to, Ghana needed to go through that transition from a, a military dictatorship, mm -hmm. maybe pressure from stakeholders, external uh, sources i.e. Yeah. the USA, uh, the also UK. The, the UK mm -hmm. and all these other countries, the, the IMF and the World Bank, these okay. are the stakeholders. So mm -hmm. there was pressure for that um, democratically elected electoral system mm -hmm. to take place. And so Rawlings is now shifting from being a military dictator okay. into a civilian uh, duly elected uh, president. Okay. And so what you then find is that the constitution was then drawn up. But then one could say, or one should say, was it drawn up from a fair position? Mm -hmm. Because when you're a military dictator or a military head of state, the people that are around you mostly are yes men. You and me. They will agree with you in anything because they don't want to uh, cross your line. They don't so want before to... you carry on, I just want to ask, are there international bodies, independent bodies that oversee constitution of countries? like the U United Nations and all that, are they mm. special group of people that will come into the country and supervise your new, or the, if you are going to amend mm. the constitution, they, they, they kind of supervise uh, it to make sure that you are within the confines of the, the, yes. the rule of law? Yes. Well, that is a difficult subject. That is difficult in the sense that, yes, the, 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 the stakeholders mm -hmm. are interested. They put pressure. They may probably come around to, to support in the process. And obviously, they want you to do it in line maybe with the U.S. Uh, constitution or maybe in line with the, in, the, in the British system. We don't have a, a constitution. It's all sort of uh, uh, laws, you know, various, because, because various types of what I don't uh, understand, uh, laws. What I don't right. understand is if there is a body that super, you know, supervise mm -hmm. or oversee, mm -hmm. you know, keep... A surveillance on all these processes. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm confused about why they should allow that Article 78, mm -hmm. Clause One, to really play a major role in a in a democracy because it's not it's not it doesn't make it a democracy. It makes it a what a dictatorship. Yes, the thing is that um, that's what confuses yeah. <laughs> me. Yeah, the, the thing is that, that it was allowed. You see, a nation is to, a, to, a nation is a sovereign nation. Okay. So when you become an independent nation, you are sovereign. Mm -hmm. In all fairness, you should be controlling everything, including your money supply. Everything mm -hmm. you need to co control it domestically because you've asked for independence. Okay. You've taken your independence, so you are a sovereign state. So when you're writing up your constitution, you just bring the brains of that of nation that together. Nation. You may have a body that may want to be, um, then that body still has to be potentially has to be people within within that country that has that legal uh, mind, judges, mm -hmm. you know, top barristers. Mm -hmm. And when these uh, when this constitution is written out, it needs to be looked at by the people themselves because they are sovereign. They are matured enough to take care of the, the issues. So but then when you have a military. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 head of state, mm -hmm. then the problem is that you are not going to get that neutrality because all the people that are supposed to be checking, they will just give that power to obviously to, to the president. Because since 1992 um, to 2020, how many years? Uh, 1992, 2020. Oh, okay, let's do the math here. Is it 22 uh, years? Uh, no, more than that. 
22, 28. 28. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's been a long time. So yeah. having the leaders who came in power yes. sort of acknowledge and recognize that there's something really terribly wrong with that, mm -hmm. that article in that constitution then you you are not understanding why maybe somebody else obviously after uh, J, john jerry rollins was uh, J, uh, um, uh, 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 was so the reason why maybe the president may not probably say anything is because that if you, them. correct if something gives you an overwhelming power, power. Mm -hmm. yes power corrupts absolute power, power corrupts, corrupts absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, if you give me that power, yes, I will use it. Mm -hmm. You with me, I will use it. You know, I can do all sorts of things. I can order the army to do unlawful things. You know, so many things can go wrong, mm -hmm. but I have the power to do it. So, I will do it. I mean, surely, if you get an opportunity to, to play God, maybe you will. <laughs> yeah, power, <laughs> you get power, power uh, is sweet, isn't of it? Of course. So, so but, this is the time now is we want to see Ghana going forward from now, going forward, so that we are not having a repeat. Are you sure that of a leader will come and amend this constitution, especially the Article 78 and Article 128, or plus one, plus one? Yes. Are you sure that we will get someone that will come and say, no, as a president, I have to be accountable and responsible for my actions? So I, I need to change these articles in the constitution mm -hmm. so that my successors will be able to run the country in fairness so that nobody is going to come and take Ghana for a ride. Yes. I think that at this stage, you couldn't find a better president that could actually initiate a, that project. So, for example, mm -hmm. let's assume that uh, Nana Adodankwa is successful in his second term. When he comes into power mm -hmm. for the second term, this could be a project that is put in place as he comes to power. He can commission the project. Mm -hmm. It may not necessarily mean that he, throughout his four year or to the end of his four year tenure, mm -hmm. they would have completed this rewrite of the constitution and bringing in the relevant checks and balances so that the work that he comes to do now can be protected and sealed. And also, he can also, you know, the name can also be put down that Nana Akufuadu Adodangwa, Adodangwa Akufuadu is the one who started, who started this process. And it has to be done in such a way that there is a body that oversees it. So regardless of the NDC, NPP, NDC, NPP An coming into, body in, into power, will... this project will carry on till the end when... You are now going to see the separation of powers. Mm -hmm. You are going to see the due process. You are going to see the um, rule of law working. Mm -hmm. You are going to see a media that is responsible. Possible. And, and a certain uh, judiciary mm -hmm. is going to be independent. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, appointment to, uh, say, governors of Bank of Ghana mm -hmm. has to be independent. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you have these independent structures, electoral commissioner, for example, yeah. also has to be independent. And so when you have these structures in place, place, this is when you set yourself up for success so that the system is checking that itself. That is proper democracy. Correct. So yeah. every sort of um, unit checks yes. the other. Yes. So there is some sort of control and um, so some, uh, the checks and balances that you were talking about. Right. So even in the way God established the world, that's how there is a natural principles, good you know? and bad. And bad, yeah. There uh, are structures, that's systems, right. policies. That's know? right. Summer and winter. Yeah. This and that. So everything is checking the yin and the yang. Everything is checking itself out. And that is the way that you can have a democratic system that can work and it can set the platform for that extensive economic development mm -hmm. to follow. Okay. But but I, I, I really think that um, somebody should kickstart that process of the 1992 Constitution Amendment. Definitely somebody should kickstart that, that because um, it gives them the, the, the too much power, as you were saying. Yes. Too much power, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yes. And 
there, there, there should be someone who will say that no enough is enough let me try and amend this whole constitution so that, that the future will make Ghana very yeah. democratic instead of dictatorship because we can have a country whereby the president has the sole right and authority and the mandate to 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 appoint any anything any 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 minister and any justices anyhow that's right and i think it goes on to the places where you were mentioning the the electoral bodies mm -hmm. they have the sole mandate to take somebody appoint somebody of their choice Mm -hmm. And because, I think it is not democracy. In, in the, in the we judicial need, system, we need to example. change that. But you know, we we will come back to this amendment of the constitution. But it needs to be rewritten. It needs it's to not, be rewritten. not even an amendment. Mm. It needs to be rewritten because the the 1992 one is totally flawed. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be rewritten okay. so that the new one will now have in place the checks and balances, checks and balances. which then forms a springboard mm -hmm. for a democratic system, system to work. To work and because work now it's not democracy. No. All right, watch out for the next series. Um, subscribe, like, and share. We're coming back to you with the next series. Thank you for watching.